News involving former President Trump tonight and what he calls his big announcement just a short time from now at Mar-a-Lago. Expected to announce he's running for president again. Here's our chief Washington correspondent, Jonathan Carl, in Florida tonight. Donald Trump is saying his announcement will make today one of the most important days in the history of the country. But it comes after an epic losing streak. Candidates he supported were defeated in Pennsylvania, New Hampshire, Nevada, and in Arizona, where overnight Kerry Lake, the election-denying candidate who campaigned closest to him, Do you love this guy or what? lost her bid to be governor. Republican Senator Mitt Romney bluntly called Trump an albatross around his party. And New Hampshire's Republican governor, a Trump critic, is throwing cold water on tonight's announcement. Whatever, whatever announcements may or may not be happening tonight, <laughs> uh, frankly, nobody's going to care. And on Capitol Hill, even some Trump supporters are greeting it with a shrug. We'll have plenty of time to talk about 2024. We need to have a discussion about going forward uh, who's going to be the nominee. But my view is there'll be time for that. If he chooses to run, there's going to be a process. There's going to be a debate. We'll see what happens. It comes as Mike Pence, Trump's ever loyal vice president, tells David Muir there will be better options in 2024. Do you believe that Donald Trump should ever be president again? David, I think that's up to the American people. But I think we'll have better choices in the future. You know, the people of this country actually get along pretty well once you get out of politics. And I think they want to see their national leaders start to reflect that same, that same compassion and generosity of spirit. And I think, uh, so in the days ahead, I, I, think, I think there will be better choices. Better choices than Donald Trump. Um, and uh, for me and my family, we uh, will be reflecting about what our role is in that. But will you run for president in 2024? Well, we're giving it consideration in our house, prayerful consideration. In the build up to tonight, Trump has been going negative on Ron DeSantis, his one time protege who may become his biggest Republican rival. We're winning big, big, big in the Republican Party for the nomination like nobody's ever seen before. Let's see, there it is, Trump at 71, Ron DeSanctimonious at 10 percent. But DeSantis, who won re-election in a 19-point landslide without Trump's endorsement, today shot back. You know, at the end of the day, uh, I would just uh, tell people to go check out the scoreboard from last Tuesday night. Here we go, John Carl. Even as the former president announces his decision, you've got two big names here already signaling they would be willing to challenge him. Yeah, you have Ron DeSantis, who, by the way, is not here uh, tonight in the, where we are in Florida. He has not ruled out running against Trump. And some of his conservative allies have circulated private polls that suggest that DeSantis could beat Trump in the early primary states. And then, of course, Mike Pence, who is making it crystal clear uh, that he is very seriously considering running against Donald Trump for the Republican nomination. All David. right. Jonathan Carl live in Florida tonight. John, thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.